I have a super sad report here from Raw Story about the effects of reversing Obama's executive orders, uh, which the Republicans are, of course, planning to do. They say millions of Americans who voted for Donald Trump are expected to lose overtime pay rights soon after he is sworn in as president. Tom Bonier, CEO of the polling firm Target Smart, pointed out on Monday that almost 20 million Trump voters would lose time and a half overtime under a Republican plan to reverse regulations put in place by President Obama. According to Politico, House Republicans are already plotting the most efficient way to dismantle Obama-era regulations. An overtime rule requiring companies to pay time and a half to workers who make less than $47,000 a year is expected to be one of the first reversals. <laughs> okay, so uh, understand, this is why I've said repeatedly, I think Obama in his second term has been significantly better than him in his first term. Now, he's still, in many ways, just a miserable failure. <laughs> like, for example, beefing up NSA spying, putting it on steroids, you know, pushing us further down the road of having less civil liberties, bombing seven different countries, drone strikes killing innocent civilians. So I can go on and on, being too bought by Wall Street with Wall Street bailouts and whatnot. Um, so there's a million things he did wrong. But there are things he did right that he, that he deserves credit for. So, for example, he continues to release nonviolent drug offenders from prison now. He's broken the record for commutations and pardons because he's actually releasing people who are nonviolent drug offenders, which is fantastic. So that's a good thing. I'd argue the Iran deal was fantastic. The Cuba deal was fantastic. The immigration executive orders were fantastic. Now, a court held those up, so they're not going to go through. But I think he was right in what he was trying to lay out there. And in fact, he, he did something which makes it amazing that the court slapped it down. He basically just took Reagan's model of amnesty and he said, well, we're just going to do exactly like Reagan did it. And they were like, no, this is unconstitutional. And they slapped it down. So, but those are all good things he did. Here's another amazing thing that he did. The, the threshold to get overtime pay by law was, I think, about $23,000 or so. He made it uh, 47000 I mean, that's, think about that, man. That's huge. You know how many people this affected positively? So, I mean, this is one of those things where it, 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 you understand why people say, oh, well, the Democrats are the lesser evil. Because they're still massively bought and, and doing the bidding of corporate America and being far too, you know, imperialist and hawkish. Of course, we all agree to that. Any reasonable person agrees with that. But you're not going to get shit like this under a Republican administration. Oh, let's give, uh, you know, workers more overtime pay. <laughs> Obviously, they're not only not going to do that, they're going to actively go in the other direction. They're saying it right now. They're like, yeah, we're just going to dismantle it when we get in there. Well, motherfucker. So, and 20 million Trump voters, Donald Trump uh, drain the swamp my ass. He's going to go in the opposite direction and fuck over 20 million of his own voters. So this is, uh, this is a, a big time disaster and you're going to have working people be even more left behind now. So this isn't okay. This is utter bullshit. And I hope that the media would take some time to cover this in detail. I mean, all the scandals about Donald Trump. Oh, grab him by the pussy. Oh my God. He curses and uses naughty language. Oh, he said the TPP is going to rape us. Did you know that was a big story? They were said, oh, he used the word rape and we're offended by that. As opposed to using that as an opportunity to talk about the TPP and the provisions in it. I mean, that's what a factual media should do that actually cares about the truth. They didn't do that. They said, oh, he used the word rape. So now let's all be triggered and talk about that for two or three days. All the, the scandals on Donald Trump that were over covered and that were some of them real scandals, but many of them not even real scandals. That gets uh, coverage. This, uh, yeah, oh, I'm going to gut overtime pay for a gigantic number of people. 20 million of Trump's own supporters. I'm just going to gut overtime pay and fuck them over and hurt working people more. Where's the media on this one? Pfft, nowhere to be found. So it's sad. The media needs to cover this and we need to mobilize and fight against it because Donald Trump, I mean, this is further evidence of it. He might have said he's a friend of the working class. Does this look like it?